I plant for my children. That's the story. And that is the origin of the inscription on the glass window there that leads from the entrance into the sanctuary with a bunch of names that helped to build this place. As my parents planted for me, so do I plant for my children. It's kind of our motto. And it's literally built into this building. It's the same idea from the prayer that is spread all over the world with that tune that Cantor Mayor Finkelstein wrote many years ago. You know it. Le Dorvado, Le Dorvado, Le Dorvado, Nagi Galecha. I know you know it. From generation to generation. From generation to generation. It's why we have a religious school, Beit Bina, and a teen program, and now a Grove preschool. And it's also why we have highlights and conversations in aging. It's why our Purim spiel casts both adults and children, directed, by the way, by a mother-daughter team. It's why we have an adult singing circle and we're starting a children's chorus. It's why we'll have a Generations Day at Baby Nine in just over a month's time. It's all about Lador Vador from generation to generation. An interesting aside, however, is that Lador Vador does not literally mean from generation to generation. Literally, Medor Lador is from generation to generation. Lador Vador means generation and generation, literally. And I kind of like to think of it in English because generation has a different meaning in English. It doesn't only mean a group of people in time. It means to create something, like a generator. And so we have both here at Kohl Shofar. We have generation, that is creativity. I mean, it may surprise you, but my grandparents never saw anything like a Kohl Neshama musical meditation in <laughs> Or a cafe kol shofar where adults from all ages have wine and cheese and brownie bites while kids are in Hebrew school. Or a cantor running around with a guitar and stuffed Torahs that have taught Shabbat. I'm not even sure my grandfather would approve of that. But the point is, is that things change through the generations. Just from last year to this one, think about how much has changed at kol shofar. At last year's gala, if you were here, if you remember, I asked you to imagine with me the possibilities. I asked you to imagine a thriving and beautiful preschool. And now we have one. I asked you to imagine camp retreats for families. Well, we're having one in April for B'nai Mitzvah families. I asked you to imagine a congregational Israel trip. And we're now planning one for later this year. I asked you to imagine a website that actually looks like it's from this century. And hey, we have one. I said, Ian Tirtsu Enzo Agada. If you imagine it, it can become manifest. And you did, and so it is. <laughs> the roots grew to shoots. And those shoots are growing higher dropping new seeds which will emerge into new roots that will then next year turn into shoots. We plant for the next generation because each and every one of us were once that next generation that came up and we benefited from those that came before us. I mean, we read the Shema this morning and the first thing, the first thing the Shema tells us is Veshinantam Levanecha, teach it to your children from generation to generation. That is what we're about. And that's what the Jewish tradition is built upon in a way that other religious traditions don't understand. Because we're not a religion. We're a family. A religious family. And families hold the moral development of their children as the supreme ethic. And we dedicate ourselves to transmitting it from generation to generation. Generation and generation. And the thing is, we're doing it every year at the gala for the past few years, not just this one or last one, but the past few years, people come up to me and say, there's so many young people here I never knew. 
and they're surprised. I'm not. I'm not because it's been an intergenerational group that's been working together to plan this gala for the past several years. It's intentional. It's a part of the vision. And I'm not surprised because every single week I get to see the engagement of the younger and the older, the newer members, and the longstanding members. I see how much the older generation offers and gives and how much the younger generation offers and gives. And tonight, tonight, we're honoring Rhea Brown and her family, and what Rhea's been doing with the Chesed Committee for 22 years, and we talk about how amazing and hard it is to sustain that. The endurance and commitment is incredible, but also think about how after all that time, building it, sustaining it, how hard it is to give it up, to hand it over. It's hard because you have to trust the next generation. You have to trust that your values and goodwill is passed on from generation to generation. And Rhea wanted to do it mindfully, so she said to Adria, let's work on it together this year. So the transition is smooth. Generation working with generation. Through that generational trust, the older blesses the younger, and the younger blesses the older. So you know, when I think about my grandparents, seeing what happens here, so much of my life is different than the lives that they led. But so much of what they believed in and held dear is what I hold dear, really what we all here hold dear and believe in. Some things better, some worse, but there are certain things that stay the same and our community stands for the things that we hand on, one to another to another. Now with a guitar, then for many of our parents and grandparents, maybe an organ, and then maybe no music at all. Today, now, in Hebrew and in English, maybe then in a different language, in Yiddish, or Ladino, or Farsi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Farsi in the house. <laughs> but the prayers themselves are the same. <laughs> and the prayers that are B'nai Mitzvah sing are the same words of wisdom from thousands of years ago, because they're anchored in spirit, which is eternal. So when you give tonight, I should say, when you generously give tonight, <laughs> I want to say thank you. I thank you. My ancestors thank you. My children thank you. Your children thank you. And your children's children thank you. Thank you for investing in this time-tested institution with the motto from generation to generation because we generate and regenerate. We build and rebuild. We teach and reteach. We imagine and reimagine. We plant and replant so that we end up with what our medieval mystics called our tradition, which is milin atikin hadishim, a tradition that is both ancient and new. And for that, I am so thankful. Chaim.